Okay, guys, so in order for you to start this new Cornell node, you have to go into your what? Cornell nodes template, and then you have to go into File, and then click on Make a Copy, right? And then what are you going to do? You're going to make sure that your title says last name, and then first initial, and then intercepts, right? Please make sure you have your name, topic intercepts. I want you to put the date for October 6th, okay? And then please put period 6. All right? Okay, and here's the essential question. How do you use intercepts to graph? What I did next is I went to page 13 on your textbook, okay? So I went to page 13 on your textbook, and all I did was copy question number 5 and 6, okay? But I didn't go to the online textbook. I just typed it out. So go ahead and type out exactly what I have over there. Okay? And once you have this, okay, our process is very easy. Okay? Shh. Yes, you're going to write five and six. And then we just have to find the intercepts, okay? So now let's do this. Shh. In order for you to find the x-intercept, what do you have to make equal to zero, guys? No, you want to find out what x is equal to, so what else has to equal zero? What has to go away? The y. So you know what? Whenever you find the x-intercept, you have to say y is equal to zero. So I use what is called the block method. What I do is I highlight this, okay? Go into highlight, and then I'm going to use black. And then what happens? Everything is gone, right? This is called the block method. And so what I'm going to have left is 5x equals 10, right? So then we got to find out what x is equal to. So what do we have to do to both sides? Yeah, so underline both, okay? So highlight the number and then click on the underline thing, right? So there you go. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 5. Uh-oh. Mm. And then divide this side by 5, okay? How did I block it? I highlighted it and I go into highlight over here and then I picked black color, the color, I mean, the color black. Okay? So then now we have x equals 2. Okay? So that is my x-intercept. Okay? Now let's go ahead and find my y-intercept. And you know what? Just to be clear, let me make a note over here saying that this is x-intercept. And then over here I'm going to say y-intercept. So then, let me ask you now, if you want to find the y-intercept, what do you think I should block out or black out? Five. The 5x, right? Because y-intercept means, now I'm going to go ahead and undo this, right? Uh-oh. Yeah. Oh, no. What am I doing? There you go. So now I can see everything. To find the y-intercept, what am I going to do? I'm going to black out the what? The 5x. So let's go ahead and change the highlight to 5x. And now what do I have left? I got negative 2y. Yeah. No, silly boy. Yes, good job. Okay. So then what we're going to do is we're going to divide both sides by what? By y. By negative, two. By negative 2. Negative 2, right? So there you go. Here's negative 2. And then here's negative 2, okay? So then now y equals, yeah, what? Y equals negative 5. Negative 5. And so now I have my y-intercept, right? So then now it's going to be easy for me to graph, right? What I want to do is I want to go ahead and insert a graph like right here somewhere, but then it's going to be crazy for you, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to insert it down here. Okay? Shh. So my x-intercept is at 2, and my y-intercept is at negative 5. Let's go ahead and click on Insert Image, I mean Drawing, okay? So then in here, we're going to draw our x-axis, right? Use the line. Here's my x-axis. And then here's my y-axis, right? And then from here, I got to find my x-intercept. And my x-intercept is what? 2. 
So I'm going to put a mark here, and I'm going to put another mark here to show me that that's a 2. And then what was my y-intercept, guys? Negative 5, right? So on the y-line, I'm going to find 1, 2, ah, oh, nah. Mm-hmm. Two, uh. No, it was negative five. Two, three, four, five, right? And then what do I have to do? I have to connect those two points, right? The two and the y. So let's go ahead and do that. So you go right here? No, you start from here and then you go there. But then you gotta pass it and go straight, right? And you gotta make this line longer stretch it out but don't go off there you go are we good and then you save and close and bam you got this big graph which is too big so make it smaller oh no there you go i'm gonna make it even smaller okay so there you go now i can see that my x-intercept is at two and so there, there you go. My graph has to pass the 2 right here. And then my y-intercept is at negative 5. And so on my y-line, it has to pass the negative 5. And I am done drawing the graph. And that is it for online Cornell notes. And what you got to do right now, you got to come up with your one left column question and your summary. The reason why I have question number 6 here, if you want to, you can go ahead and finish number six online, but if you don't want to, you can go ahead and do it on your textbook, okay? But for me, I know a lot of you have a difficult time catching up with me, so just go ahead and do it, finish here, and make a left column question here, and write your summary and submit it today, okay? This is due actually Monday by five, okay? But if you can, just do it now. And so I'll, give, I'll go ahead and pause right here, but I am done for today, okay? Make sure you send it in to me and then, I mean, today for this section. Now we got to actually solve other problems, okay? So let's finish this up. Summary and left column question. Ready? Go.